Hey guys, so I'm on my way to the Reef Defined TV tour in New Jersey. Um, I'm running super late. It's already after 7 o'clock and it started at 7.30. And it took me over 30 minutes to get there. So I should be there before 8. So hopefully the day delay a little bit so I won't miss anything. Um, so I'm going downstairs. about to hop in my car and go down there. So I'll see you guys at the event. weakness yeah. like we don't talk about stuff like you know right on your tongue a soft answer turns away wrath wow. yeah. we don't talk about things like that most women you know I, w I was uh you know a single woman and I was I had a uh I was raised by a single mother and so she taught me you know do your thing make your money go to college have your job have your car you know I yeah. handled my stuff because you don't, you know, you don't want to depend on no man for nothing. Right, right, right. right. And a lot, you know, I get that, yeah. you know, because we have to be able. So we're creating this atmosphere and this environment of independence, yeah. Yeah. right? Where you know, when we do get him, we like, well, I don't need you. I just want you. Option. And we communicate that, right. right? Like, who wants to hear that? Do Do you want to hear that? I don't. I don't really need you. I just want you. Like, turn the tables. She got quiet and skin. I love Sorry. it. We are equal sex I mean, offenders. seriously. Some women, seriously, you are spewing fire out of your mouth. Like, you don't know how to control your mouth. Sometimes you just gotta shut up. All right, you guys. So, the event is over. Um, it's about 9.30. I actually got here after 8.00. I didn't get to see much, um, but it was still pretty good from what I heard. I believe that I got to hear most of the word. The word was really good. So, sorry that it's dark. So now I'm about to head back home. I'm going to try to make it back here tomorrow in the morning. They have a workshop and some other things going on. Yeah, guys. Sorry about earlier. Um, it was kind of weird because people were like, it was a car right next to me with um, people in it. And now somebody, it's always somebody while I'm talking. When I appear, I'm talking to myself. Um, it was really nice. Um, but I didn't get there on time, so I felt like like I didn't get everything that I want. I thought that when I went inside, I probably would just only miss the worship. Like, worship would probably still be going on but ending, or it would be off. When I went in, it seemed like they were probably done doing worship for like at least 10 minutes. 10, 15 minutes um i was an hour late so that's a bummer but um i did enjoy it. like they touched on topics about you know how sometimes it's so hard for us um this wasn't the topic but they talked about like how you know with our generation jerry was talking about how we hate to wait and we do i know i sometimes i hate to wait and sometimes we could feel disappointed or even envious of those who get blessed before us. Like we may have been living this walk for like years and then somebody that just started, they could get blessed before you. Like you were saved for like years and then somebody just got saved and got blessed with something like husband, for example. Um, and sometimes things that we think are blessings from God, sometimes they're from, they're not from God, like they're counterfeits. But you know, sometimes God will bless people who you may feel like is not deserving of it yet or just not deserving of it at all while you feel like you're deserving of it and maybe you are and he just does that you know sometimes don't be God sometimes it do like God could do anything and sometimes God he touches your heart you know I know some sometimes I have wondered certain things um but you know I'm just waiting it out like I'm still waiting to meet my future husband you know I'm okay with being single. I'm so happy, you know, um, that I am still single. And um, as far as not being married, I mean, we have think that I'm not even in a relationship. But, you know, I do want to see him, you know. I do want to meet him. Um, you know, it's just going to be very exciting. It's good that I am still um, unmarried and don't have any kids because I could just go when I want to, you know. As long as my bills are paid and I have the money to do certain things, I could do it. I try to make sure I pay all my bills before I do everything and take my tithes out. I have like told my cousin about it because we actually follow some of the same people. I just found out not so long ago. So I decided to tell her about this event and she already knew about it. Then she decided that she wanted to go but 
Um, today she just found out that she won't be able to go because she doesn't have a babysitter for her kids. So uh, my cousin, she has two kids. Uh, we're about the same age. She's one year older than me. We're actually born, born the same month in December, but she's one year older than me. And she was married as well. Um, and I'm, I'm married with no kids. So uh, that was a reminder for me. You know, I felt bad that she couldn't come. And I was looking forward to seeing her. And I was reminded, you know, that, look, she can't do whatever she want whenever she want to do it. She got to think about her kids first. And, you know, when you're married, you got to think about your husband first, you know. I don't have to worry about kids or a husband. So I just thank God for that, you know. I wanted to pop out kids early, not early, like, teens. But I wanted to have kids by, like, 25 years old. Um, but it didn't happen for me like that. I thought I'd be married at like 21, have kids by 25, be married no later than 25. So once I passed 21, I was like, okay. Then I got engaged right before my 25th birthday. So I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna be married when I'm 25. Now I'm past 21 and 25. Um, so you know, I just have to be happy. But yeah, they touched on a lot about relationships and women submitting and knowing when to shut up and us honoring one another like and having honor for our husbands and you know the men respect and honor is very important to them like so yeah i enjoyed that i'm gonna try to take in that so you know right now it's kind of a tough time um my clients are starting to pick it right back up i did have like a, a decline recently for the last few weeks it's been really really slow for me like just a few clients per week some it was a week that I didn't have any clients so that's just a transparency moment and I want to do um I wanted to do a life update I'm not gonna be able to do it right now because I gotta finish editing this, this video and I gotta make sure I have enough um, room <laughs> on my camera but um I probably do the life update in my car that might be easy um, because I wanted to just set it up at home and just do a regular sit down video, so I must go back inside. I turned off the light because <laughs> the security guard is walking closer to where I am, it just feels really weird. I'm gonna just talk to y'all guys, talk to you guys later. I'm gonna do a life update once I get these two videos up so I can have their room. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye -bye. All right, good morning, guys. So it's day two, the last day today is the workshop. So I'm actually early. I'm happy. This is my OOTD. I'm wearing them yellow pants from Forever 21. I may look a little bit tired, but I'm early. God, we love you so much. And then to the darkness you shine. Hey, and out of the ashes we times we hear it if I would have heard that back in 2015 yes. if I would have saw your videos last year <laughs> if I would have saw it back in 2016 I wouldn't be in this predicament but what if I told you you needed that Amen. you wouldn't be binge watching redefine TV if you didn't go through that <laughs> you wouldn't be seeking Jesus like the way you're seeking Jesus if you didn't go through that because some of us now I don't need company I need peace all it takes is one bad relationship to show you how valuable peace is he can be fine and she can have more curves than a highway but if I don't have peace 
See, some of us get so caught up with looking at the accessories that we forget the attachment. Because everybody's attached to something. He may be fine, but he could be attached to a storm. She may be fine, but she's attached to drama. And everybody talks about Jezebel, but I'm like, why aren't we talking about Ahab? Because there are a breed of men. They just don't shout too loud because Jezebel's like Ahab. See how we, we are equal sex offenders. For those who missed last night. Yeah, what if I told you I needed that? And, and I want to show you guys something else. We're just doing groundwork. This is how we like to build. Um, if you could... Turn your Bibles to Matthew chapter 1. We break this uh, wire and the church may sue me. So. Um, let me get you. I want you to come over here. You're going to represent the flesh. Everybody say the flesh. The flesh. All right. And since you have white on, I want you to represent the spirit. Everybody clap it up for the spirit. Spirit. Yeah. Right. Come on, spirit. Now, how many of us would be honest to say that this bad boy right here is enough in itself? Yeah. Your flesh. You forgot who he's symbolic of. Okay. It's your flesh. You're probably like, I don't know him. <laughs> so, one more time. How many of us will admit that your flesh in itself is a mess? Yes. Like, you are like your own downfall many times. This ain't the devil. This ain't mom and them. This me. Can I get everybody to say, this all me? This all me. Look at my shoulders. This all me. This all me. Alright, now, let me tell you why I think this is so difficult. Because when you come to Christ, let me get you to come over here. You come over here. Come over here. You come right here. You come right here. And you come right here. Okay. When you come to Christ, this is what your heart looks like. All you know is, I'm saved. That's all you know. But you got a porn addiction. You have bitterness. You have an ex in your life who's toxic. Okay? You have a people pleasing issue, you have an anger issue, and you're still trying to get over your, your childhood trauma. You saved, you saved though, you saved. You saved. You saved. You saved. But you got all this stuff on your road. And you can miss church. And you can miss community. Now, a lot of us don't recognize it, but this is how a lot of our hearts look. You got all this on it. You're trying to live for God. Now, please don't drag the spirit, okay? Because we're not supposed to blaspheme the Holy Spirit. Can I get y'all to hold this really quick? So you trying to live right. You hold it. Now, I want you to really try to resist them. Y'all pull just a little bit. Y'all pull. Pull a little more. Pull it. Come on, flesh, you a mess. Pull. <laughs> Spirit, poor spirit, struggling. The spirit is struggling. She starts sliding. <laughs> it's willing, it's willing. She willing. Okay, now look, look. So I'm trying to be spirit led, but y'all pull. But my anger's pulling me, my pride, my porn addiction, my childhood trauma, my bitterness, or my people pleasing, my flesh. All this is pulling me. And you wonder why your life, you feel like, I can't pray. I can't stick with this. I don't know why I keep falling short. I don't know why I keep falling off. I can't stick with my Bible app. I hate that I keep losing my Bible app streets. Oh, I keep doing this. And why I keep doing it? You have all this stuff on your road. Please don't miss this. This is powerful. And you're wondering why. And then we haven't even talked about, then you trying to do a relationship with all this mess? I oh, want God to send you a husband and a wife. Preach, woman. And I've actually heard people say, I know I'm a mess. Well, who would want your mess? He just gonna have to deal with me. He just gonna have to deal with this. Like whoever going it's gonna take a special somebody to marry me. Um, no, ma'am, get that together. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Um, the event is over. I wish I could have recorded more than I did, but um, I have to account for room on my phone. It was really good. Today was even better. Like it was great today. I love the analogies and the word. I just love that they're like a little bit more edgier, like more modern. I'm traditional, but I'm also a bit modern as well. So I like the modern day analogies and preaching. And I love that Jerry has like an edginess to him. And they both do and they compliment each other well. Um, it went really well. So um, I just thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.